Welcome at tutorial number 5 of the EEP10 model railway simulator. In the previous video we saw how EEP can automatically create turnout uh, situations for us when we need turnouts that are connected to parallel tracks. We can even supply it the parameters and it calculates for us how it wants to lay the track. But let's now try to do it our own. I mean, we have, uh, can have some fun with the mathematics and try to see if we can build, let's say, a station with four parallel tracks, just for fun. Uh, let's have this logo over here. We see four parallel tracks. Uh, let's say we want a spacing of 4.5 meter. And let us see if we can build that by hand. I know that EEP can do it, I'll show you in the end, but let's just try it ourselves as a challenge. Let us open up a new layout, an empty. Okay, it takes a while. Yes, empty layout and default. And here I am. Uh, click this, that uh, gives a bit more contrast. And then I'm going to lay the first track. And the first track needs to be a uh, turnout so i need a switch and that turnout that uh, also has a straight connected to it of course and then over here i need to go upwards uh, a, a turnout in a curve and now i need some calculations well i created a spreadsheet for that this is the situation we need, a turnout. We know that this distance is 4.5 meter. The radius I want to work with is 50 meters. And I would like uh, to calculate the angle that I need. Well, there is this spreadsheet. You can download it from the text with the video. We fill in the 4.5 for the distance, the 50 for the radius. And then it follows that the curve angle we need is this. I copy that and just to remember it let's open notepad and paste it. And the length of the straight that I need is uh, this value over here, L1. You see this is the L1 that we need, this length, uh, for the next uh, turnout. Uh, so I copy also that length over here and then I'm all set and done and I can create what I need. Okay so this turnout here that needs to be a switch in itself because uh, it is followed again by another switch so let me take this angle uh, and then create that switch over here create a switch I right click and I go to winkle and uh, radius and the winkle is uh, the angle that I just saved and the radius is 50 Yes, there it is. Uh, that is a nice switch. I'm going to place it over here. Okay, now I need another switch that uh, has the straight with the length that we found from the spreadsheet. So let me make that. Uh, first I'm going to find that length. Yes, that's over here. 15 point somewhat. Uh, so I need now the, to go to this uh, length and type in 15 point somewhat and I have a switch of that length and I need another one so let us immediately make a copy and now let us connect it over here yes that works and connect the second one over here okay now all that we need to do is make the turns to go parallel again well those turns are the same as we had here the 17 point somewhat degrees so let's make a turn, uh, type in, we first go to uh, angle and radius, the angle is the 17 point somewhat, but this time negative because we can want to go clockwise, and then I type in minus 50, that is the strange thing that EEP wants, a negative radius. Okay, how many do I need? One, two, three, so let us copy it twice, one, two, and then we should have enough to satisfy all these parallel tracks over here. Yes, that works, yes, that works. Everything is blue, uh, well, at least everything that could be blue is blue, but I need a few straights. Oh, wait a moment, I made a turnout here that I should not have done, but okay, 
let me put a straight so that it turns blue it goes high up in the sky let us add a few more straights uh, over here for the parallel tracks i can copy this uh, downwards two times and then move it a little and you see that we have been able to manage to create our own uh, we'll copy forward this we have been able to create our own railway station with four parallel tracks in just a few minutes using the calculation spreadsheet that you can download from the link could we have done this easier <laughs> yes we could have done i have been fooling you a little bit eep has a built-in function to make such a railway station look over here go to the menu bearbeiten and then our good old gleis combinationen and we have here gleis harve harve let us go left because that goes up I want an angle of well let's say uh, 15 degrees I want my radius of what we used here is 50 uh, and the uh, distance is 4.5 meters and I want four of them oh it gives me another radius now is that on purpose uh, another winkle uh, uh, I don't know why it does that okay everything set yes I say okay and I get a complete uh, layout of this situation I move it and thanks to this purple color you cannot see it but I press the shift button to let it snap and if it does not move anymore I let go click over here twice and you see we have the same in uh, just a few seconds but it was of course fun to see if we could uh, do it ourselves too yes we could okay uh, let's go back to our layout that we created in video number two and create a nice railway station at the north side of the layout see you in video number six